Hey guys, Adam here, and welcome to another episode of uh, On the Couch Rewind. Um, well, you should all know by now what, re what On the Couch Rewind does. Um, let me first start off with this. Uh, playing. I'm going to start off with that. I, I watched Planes today. When I decided to start doing these reviews, uh, not, not the main on the couch reviews, but the, the rewind ones, uh, I didn't start doing those until after I saw Robocop, the, the, the reboot, uh, which, and of course, I, it, it would have been right with possibilities for me to share my thoughts on the original Robocop, which I love. Um, I, I love that movie. Um, but when we finally, but when I finally decided to do uh, On the Couch Rewind, when I did the first one, which I can't remember which one was the first one, <laughs> I'll probably remember it soon. Uh, um, um, I knew, I had found out that Planes was getting a sequel. So, when, so also when we did, got uh, our, a new cable service, uh, we got DVR with it. So I decided, so I recorded Planes because I knew I was going to need it, and it's been there for months. I was going to wait till it got a little closer to the. Uh, to the release date, which is soon. Um, I really should have just skipped it. Just gone into the sequel without knowing nothing about the first movie. Because this is hands down one of the worst Di uh, Disney animated movies I have ever seen. I mean, ever seen. And I've seen some shit. And, and, and of course, the majority of those movies are really nothing more than are really just directed video movies, like *Hunchback of Notre Dame 2*, <laughs> um, *Tarzan 2*, *Brother Bear 2*. Um, just yeah, I mean, I've sat through some really shitty Disney movies in my life. I really have. Pirates 4 is a good example of that. <laughs> Fuck Maleficent. I sat through that piece of shit. Um, but this is worse. This is a lot worse. Because it's also... It's a spin-off off of the, um... Off of a very mediocre franchise. Uh, Cars. If you... Didn't figure it out already. I believe, believe me. All right, let me just say this. I didn't really have to necessarily tell you it's a spinoff of Cars because you guys should know this by now. The movie that tell, makes sure makes sure that is the first fucking thing you learn in this movie is that this is from the world of Cars. The first thing you see is World of Cars. And then planes. That's it. That is the first fucking thing you find out. It is like, it is like it's audience, which are children, I get that, are too stupid to figure out, oh, hey, this is in the same world as Cars. This, you made this movie for your audience because you knew they saw Cars. You don't need to put that in there as the first fucking thing. Jesus fucking Christ, this is... This is what this is a problem I have with a lot of kids' movies. It is pandering, it is spoon feeding these kids all this shit that they that I know that even they know, not just I know, but they know these kids are are intelligent enough to figure out on their own. I'm, these move they make these movies because they think their audience is too stupid to figure it out. Here's an idea. Make something that will make them think 
and quit spoon feeding shit because they are a because you are part of the fucking problem. You are what's helping making these children stupid. Quit giving them shit like this. So big. All right. So. The plot of the movie is a stereotypical underdog film. And believe me, I love underdog movies. I grew up with a lot of underdog sports movies made by Disney back in the 90s. If anything, that is like the majority of movies I watched when I was five was uh, were 90s underdog movies uh, from Disney. From Disney. I mean, I, I mean of course, I'll watch the other shit uh, like Predator and RoboCop and alien and whatnot uh but i also watched uh i i i mostly watched those kinds of movies uh this movie just takes the underdog formula and shits on it and just just makes it so fucking generic um the uh, all right like i said it's an underdog movie it's about a crop duster played by dan cook who, um, who wants to be a race flight, who wants to be a racing plane. Unfortunately, but he's not fast enough, but he's, through coincidence, was able to, uh, get into the race. So, with the help of his friends and some new friends, he get, he, he strives for his dream to be a rate, to be, a to win the world, uh, the World Flying Cup, or whatever it's called. Um, and I just watched this like five minutes ago. Um, well, actually more like 15 minutes ago after taking a shit, because this movie was a big pile of shit. Jesus. Um, this movie is just fucking bad. And this was originally supposed to be a, just a direct-to-video thing. Why it got theatrically released, I have no idea. But it did. And you can tell it was meant for, uh, for DVD. Um... The other thing that really hurts this movie is the fact that a lot of the characters, even the story, is really just plagiarizing off of uh, off of uh, the first Cars movie. You got your you got your uh, you got your underdog um, racer who um, wh while while their personality while his while uh, Dusty's and uh, Steve McQueen's personalities are a little different are actually rather different they are still the same character they're still basically the same character because they're underdogs striving to win and they don't give and they won't give up uh the difference is lightning mcqueen learned a fucking lesson dusty mcdusterson or Cr dusty crop hopper or whatever the fuck his name is d really kind of doesn't um I mean, he just has the, uh, he has the, uh, the strive to never give up on his dream. That's fine. Uh, you know what? That's fine. Whatever. But, you, but he doesn't really, but even there, he doesn't learn anything because he's such a one note character. Um, you also got Brad Garrett playing the, uh, Mater character, not like a straight up Mater, uh, not Mater, but a very similar character where he's he's kind of an idiot um you you got the uh paul newman character this time played by uh stacy keach who has a dark past uh about flying just like paul newman's character did about race about race car driving um god stacy keach why um uh, you, 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 I mean, you got, you even got the bat, the, the asshole rival who cheats, who fucking cheats. And he's also green, just like, uh, Michael Keane's character in the first movie, in the first Cars movie. You're not being that fucking subtle. You're really not. Uh, hell, you even have, uh, hell, uh, 
uh, Dusty even lives on a, uh, in a town that's not even on a map. Again, just like Radiator Springs. Uh, Terry Hatcher plays uh, Dusty's uh, mechanic. Uh, so she's like the other half of the Mater character, except she's intelligent. Um, i trying to think who else in, is in this movie besides Stacy Keach. God, Stacy Keach, why? I, mean, I can understand why Dan Cook's in this piece of shit because he's not fucking funny. I. I mean, there was a time where I thought a stand-up was funny, but not anymore because he's gotten fucking grating and insulting. And I've said some fucked up shit, too. Uh, but, my God. Um, I, this movie is just fucking terrible. And it, there's, there are fucking flying puns in this movie. Uh, puns in this that just, that just make you groan. That just really make you go, like, there's a plane called the USS Fleisenhauer. And in the major, really, the majority of these jokes are plane puns that, that just, that just go with fly, insert a, insert a real world name. That's it. Um, there's even, there's even shit jokes in this like uh, uh dusty's boss is a old mississippi crop crop duster who is obviously black who farts because he eats uh soul plane fo food or whatever yeah yeah they they went they fucking went there um um they, they they make yeah they make a lot of fart and shit jokes. Uh, Sinbad is in this. Fucking Sin. Actually, you know what? I'm not, again. I'm not even surprised Sinbad's in this goddamn movie. He's not even funny either. He was funny, but again, he got fucking annoying when he became fucking irrelevant. Fuck. Um. It's just. I mean, if you've seen an underdog movie, you've seen this movie. I can't, I can't strive it enough. And they throw in Rocky. They throw in, they throw in Old Yeller. They don't even make any, so they don't even make an attempt to throw in like car or plane puns in this. It's just, yeah, yeah, everyone likes an underdog movie like Rocky or Old Yeller. It's like, Old Yeller's not an underdog movie. It's got a dog in it. Old Yeller dies. I'm like, hey, oh, no, 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 no. No, no. Oh, oh, when he says that, when, when, uh, when the evil plane says that, he's like, yeah, on, old Yeller dies. His other plane, one of his, uh, one of his, uh, teammates says, oh, spoiler alert. I'm thinking, what? You really have to put that in there? You didn't even make it clever. You just said, oh, spoiler alert. It's like basically saying to the audience, yeah, we just ruined a, mo a good movie for you. Fucking Christ. I, I don't, I mean, and the editing is fucking terrible. They like, they explain, oh yeah, this happened to me. They don't fucking show it. They don't even bother to show it. Um, God damn it. I'm, I'm, this movie really pissed me off. Um, because I was stupid enough to watch it. Um, if, if anything, if any one good thing I have to say about this is when they re is when uh, Stacy Keach's character reveals that he kind of lied about uh, him being on multiple missions. He only had one. Uh, was that he was flying with a group of rookies on the Pacific and they went into a suicide mission. His entire squad gets obliterated. They don't just crash. They get fucking destroyed. These, I mean, it was fucking gruesome because these care, because these planes are supposed to be like very humanistic as well, in a way. And so you're seeing people die. And it's actually pretty violent. Uh, so I'm just like, holy fuck. Where the fuck did this come from? Uh, oh, yeah.
yeah, and speaking of where the fuck did this come from, all right, so Dusty is a plane. Stay with me on this. Dusty is a plane. He wants to be a racer. He actually enters the race. I mean, granted, through, uh, through coincidence, because another racer was cheating, but this, but he enters through, because of his performance. As he is training, he is going higher up. Turns out, he's afraid of heights. The, our main character, who is a plane, is afraid of heights. Out of nowhere, out of fucking nowhere, is this plot point thrown in. You could have taken it out. You really could have taken it out. And it wouldn't have made a difference. The movie would have been the same. It just would have been a little shorter because we wouldn't have to put up with this stupid ass subplot. This movie is terrible. Had this been the only Disney animated movie, I'm not Pixar, but just Disney animated movie, had this been the only Disney anim animated movie and not f uh, out last year and not Frozen, I would have completely lost faith in Disney altogether because their um, because their track record at this moment, for all I fucking care, is not that good. Especially with live action movies. Not counting Marvel and not counting, uh, well, of course I can't count Star Wars, but like, uh, of course not counting Marvel. Marvel's track re record is pretty good at this moment. But their, their live action stuff is not. There's really not a lot of things in terms of live action that are good right now. Uh, very, it's very, very, very rare at this moment. Uh, well, except for the Muppets, but I always, I keep, I always forget the Muppets is owned by Disney, and you know whatever. But this movie is just not. This movie's terrible. If Frozen hadn't come out last year, I would have completely just given up on Disney movies altogether and just watched Mar and just watched Marvel movies. That's it. That's it. Um. And this, and it's got a sequel. Which I'll have to go see. So. Final verdict. Uh, final score is. A 2 out of 10. This movie's terrible. I didn't like it. I'm just going to go watch something really really violent now. Because I need that. I earned it. So I'll see you next time when I go see Plank. Two.